So, for dramatic purposes, you're about to watch me pretend to find an A7S III in my house. But in fact, I own this camera. It's been about two weeks now. And as of making this video, the A7S III is currently two years and three months old, to be exact. Now, this is my first Sony camera, as I primarily shoot on the Blackmagic 4 and 6K, or bigger cameras when I have the budgets to do so. But the A7S III was calling me, and I answered those calls. So I'm gonna break down my reasons as to why I got this camera in 2023. But before I do so, here are some clips that I've been able to capture with this camera so far, paired with the Sigma 24 to 70. Enjoy. Now if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're probably someone who's thinking of buying the A7S III sometime soon. And with any camera, you kind of have to have a reason as to why you feel you need the camera. And I had a few. The first reason for me was to have the ability to autofocus when creating my YouTube videos or doing videos alone without a team. Now if you've done your research from the A7S III, probably already heard how great the autofocus is and guess what I'm about to tell you the same thing the autofocus is 10 out of 10 and for somebody who uses self manual focus or has focus pullers on my bigger shoots I've never really relied on autofocus because I can't really trust these bots but I fully trust the A7S III I can't knock the autofocus one bit and now another reason I bought this camera it's so I can take more photos on set and just personal photos for memories and perhaps some prints. Now, 
all the cameras I own are film cameras. And although some of them do stills, they're not stills cameras. And the last thing I wanted this camera for was the ability to do 4K in 120 frames per second. I used to love shooting in high frame rates and with the Blackmagic, the max FPS you're getting out of it at 4K is 60 frames. Now, although I've listed off a bunch of pros for this camera that have ultimately made me buy the camera in the end, there are a few cons to this, which won't be making it my main camera. So coming from a music video background and I'd like to also consider myself a filmmaker, this camera doesn't have the qualities of your typical cinema camera. So built-in NDs, for example, or the ability to shoot raw in camera. These things here are things that I've come to rely on when shooting on the Blackmagic or bigger cameras. So although I have purchased this camera and I will be using it for its other capabilities, it's not really gonna be my main camera just yet. Now, to answer your question, is the A7S III worth buying in 2023? I would say it most definitely is if you need it and if you want the ability to capture great video and photos. I feel this camera will hold this value for at least another two to three years, possibly longer. And there's not many cameras that are coming out or have been out since that blow this out of the water. So yeah, I would fully recommend the A7S III. But anyway, that was my two pence on this camera. To be honest, this was just a video to tell the world that I have a Sony now and that I've joined the club. But anyway, appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.